Hi, it's Gareth from Big Game Bikes. This morning, I'm gonna show you just how easy it is to upgrade your motor. Stay tuned. And this morning, I'm gonna show you how easy it is to upgrade your rad power bike motor from the standard 500 watt motor to uh, the 750 watt motor. Now, you probably just thought to yourself, he said 500 watt motor, right? All of Rad's bicycles that have a geared hub motor, so the Rad Rhino, the Rad Rover, the Rad Mini, uh, the new Rad Wagon 4, etc., they all come with a 500 watt motor. And in Europe, that motor is restricted to 250 watts. And in North America, it is restricted to 750 watts. If you wanna know what I mean by that, have a look at the video that I produced uh, explaining the Egg Rider and the 35 amp controller, and that'll give you a bit more information about what I mean by that. There are some specialist tools that you're going to need. The first specialist tool that we need is a Torx T20 bit. The other tool that you may need is this to remove the freewheel. Now it does have a cutout on it, and that's to fit through the cable. This tool is not essential. You can do this job without that, and I'll show you how to do that as well. So without further ado, let's get nice and close. Let's have a look at what we're doing, and let's get this motor swapped out. Okay, so you've removed your wheel from your bicycle. If you decide that you're going to keep your free wheel, you're going to need this special tool. And the reason it has this cutout is because without the cutout, you can't get a normal tool over the motor connector. Take the tool, slot it on, bring it down, grab the extra bit. Let me just spin this around so you can see what I'm doing. Slot that in like that, and then with a big wrench or a spanner, you can now undo this. Easy as that, free wheel comes off. Now, if you don't remove the free wheel, you're going to need to get to these bolts through the top gear cog, and that's it. Free wheel removed. Now, with your special Torx bit, we can go around and remove all of these. And that's it six bolts removed. Now, all we need to do is gently give the motor a knock like that to lift it up out of the casing. And that's it. Out comes the motor. We'll put that to one side. Inside are the planetary gears we can either leave those there or we can use the new ones that came with the 750 watt motor. Now onto our new motor, six bolts. Let's undo all of those. Same as before, just give it a gentle knock. And out it comes. Okay, gears are left inside, new motor. And that is the difference. This is the stock 500 watt motor. This is the upgraded 750 watt motor. Okay, let's go ahead and let's pop this back into the wheel. Now a little word of caution, there's a magnet over there. If that falls out or if you take it out, and it goes back the wrong way, you'll get a motor sensor fault. So make sure that you very, very carefully pay attention to what's happening with that magnet. And just inside the motor, right there, I don't know if you can see that little notch, 
just there. That is where that magnet lives. Just give it a little jiggle until it pops in. Okay, what I've done is I've lifted the wheel into a vertical position and very carefully, not turning this, but turning this shaft, wiggle that around until that magnet and the planetary gears align and click, in goes the motor. And now we're ready to pop our six screws back in. And those six bolts are now in place. So I've got a Torx wrench and I'm gonna do these all up to five Newton meters. All of those have now been torqued up. And now we'll put our new freewheel back on. And that's it. When you put this back on your bicycle and you put the chain on, as soon as you start pedaling, that's gonna tighten this up. I hope that helps. Not a difficult job. That took me maybe 10 minutes in total. Make sure that you take your time, make sure that you align that little magnet that I was talking about and just work through it nice and slowly and you'll be absolutely fine. Once that motor's in, you're gonna experience a lot of additional torque. It's a much more powerful motor. It's a brilliant upgrade. Have a look in the link below to get the motor. It pairs very, very well with a 35 amp controller, which I highly recommend. And uh, yeah, don't delay, check it out.